How can you match the depth of field of a tracked object layer with the changing focus of the background plate? I remember Video Copilot's nice rack focus experiment, but the video tutorial runs on Flash, and Flash is dead. So I made my own tutorial. Wow, so windy today. As a creative freelancer, you have to accomplish one, two, three, or even four projects simultaneously. Of course, each of these projects has a tight deadline, but how do you manage them? The answer is simple, stay focused. When I was in the United States for the first time, it was over 20 years ago, I was fascinated by the sheer amount of animation books they had in the bookstores. None of them existed in Germany. Of course, Amazon already existed, but still, it was hard to find one of these. And this is one of the first animation books I ever bought the Animator's Survival Kit. And the author of this book mentioned a famous classic Disney animator, Milt Kahl, who animated for Disney, Cinderella, Mary Poppins, The Jungle Book. And to stay focused, Milt Kahl didn't listen to music at all. And I thought for myself, come on, I love music. Does it really work for me? Speaking of focus, I'm filming with my Panasonic GH5 right now and it's well known that uh, the autofocus of the GH5 is quite subpar but there will be a GH5 Mark II very soon, at least it's a rumor, instead of a GH6 but uh, that's another story I want to talk about in another video. I call myself a sporty guy but uh, soccer, not for me. Let's rather talk about how to track an object into a footage with a changing focus. You can animate the depth of field with keyframes, but it would be very tedious to get all the subtleties. Here is a background plate and an unknown soccer player above. With Mocha AE applied to the background, it shouldn't be difficult to track the position on a footage that goes out of focus. Once tracking is done, apply the transform data to a null object and parent your object layer to the null layer. And this is what it looks like. But it would be more realistic if we match the depth of field. Reset Mocha AE, open it up and find a light source or a reflection that produces a nice bokeh. Like this one. With the x tool, draw a rectangle around it and press the Track Forward button. When tracking gets out of control, stop tracking and adjust the spline to the bokeh's size. Proceed with the tracking and adjust the spline whenever necessary. Try to be as precise as possible. Now create a new null layer and apply the new transform data to it. Press S to reveal the scale keyframes and click on the graph editor. We can now see that the changing scale value corresponds to the changing focus. At the lowest point of the scale curve, the background plate is in focus. Let's keep the scale value, about 60, in mind. Now let's go to the moment with the highest scale value and memorize the scale value again, which is around 167. At this moment, the background plate is totally out of focus. Apply a camera blur to the object layer and play around with the blur radius until it looks good for you. In my case, the blur radius is 50. Because we know that the scale value is connected to the depth of field, we can now use the scale value to drive the blur radius. Drag the property pig whip onto the scale attribute which creates an expression automatically. By double pressing E on the keyboard, you can reveal the expression. This expression simply shows that the blur value is driven by the X scale value. Click into the expression window and define this as our input I. Now we have to remap the scale value to the blur radius. So let's type in linear, open parentheses, our input I, the lowest scale value we have memorized before, 60, the highest scale value, 167, the lowest blur radius, let's say 4, and the highest blur value, 50. Let's hit play and watch the result. Now the camera blur and the focus of the background plate match. I really love my GH5 though, with a bad autofocus. 
Regarding staying focused on jobs, I can't live without music. When I listen to music, I'm in a tunnel. And with music, I even get pumped for projects I really don't like. Nothing distracts me. And that's the point, distracting. I think with not listening to music, Milt Carl wants to say that you have to get rid of all the distractions. Put your phone away, close the door, get rid of your TV, or just listen to music. Stay focused and see you next time. Soccer, still not for me.